Welcome to The Lost Rewatch. The Lost Rewatch is going strong almost through season two. We're, we're coming down to the end. We have two pretty good episodes to talk about today, SOS and Two for the Road, and we're joined by Bill and Courtney. Now, Courtney, this is your first time on The Lost Rewatch, so we usually try to find out what got you into Lost, what was your great experience that <laughs> the world can't wait to hear. Yes. Well, I started watching, I believe the first episode I watched was the finale of season one. So I think it, oh, was, really? it was the hot, you know, it was the hot show of the season that season. Um, I was just, I was in grad school at the time and I had just started. So I was kind of not watching TV when I just started. Um, Cause I started like, we had weird uh, like semesters. So we started, I believe we started in April. So it was close to when I started. So, um, but I watched the finale cause I think it was Jimmy Kimmel talking about it and he did a whole thing with a hatch or something on his, on his show at the time. And I was like, you know what, that's, I kind of, that was interesting. I should maybe catch up. And that was, you know, the one way to catch up was over the summer. You would just rewatch it every week, you know, to try to catch up with shows. Nobody really does that anymore, but <laughs> no, <laughs> you do that. Um, so then I caught up all that summer and watched it weekly as they redone, redid the episode. Oh, so you actually watched it live and repeats on channels mm -hmm. on, on ABC. Wow. Yeah. Now, were you confused? Were you conf when you watched the you watched the season one finale? Were you confused? Uh, well, yeah, because <laughs> I was like, I don't know who any of these people are. They found a hole in the ground. I don't understand what's happening, but it was in, you know it was definitely left you in a cl cliffhanger. So I was like, am I supposed to know what's happening? Did, so did it did it ruin your lock experience because? Everyone's favorite, no, it, one, it, you yeah. know, because he's in a wheelchair off island. Yeah, I think I was like, you know, because you don't seriously pay attention. It was the first time you're watching something. You're kind of like, okay, he's in a wheelchair. Okay, I don't understand. Is this a, is this later? You know, it was like, I was still trying to figure it out because I had, I didn't know the characters yet at all. So right. it was just kind of like to see if I'd be interested in even, you know, in even watching it. So, mm -hmm. you know, because everybody was talking about it at that time. So. And what actually hooked you? What what hooked you? Which episode? Was there one? I mean, you watched well, the snow, that, but did that hook yeah. you or did you some other episode? Um, when I watched, when I went back and started watching it from the beginning. Right. Um, probably White Rabbit is my favorite of the first season, like just of the first collection of episodes. Hmm. I mean, there's nothing wrong with any of them, honestly, but White Rabbit, I was kind of like, oh, okay, what the, what is his dad doing? What is happening on this show? So, so yeah. But yeah. yeah. Like I said, that you probably had the different approach of all the people have been on. Yeah. And how you watch it. Because most people's at least what you might have watched like the first couple of episodes or but the final episode of season one and then to go back and watch it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we had like we have um like a plane thing in our family, so we kind of tend to avoid plane crash stories for the most part. So I was kind of avoiding it and then I was like, eh, hey, maybe I can get into this. So, you know. So I started and then, you know, and then I, I think, I don't know if my, I think my parents have kind of watched some of it, but I don't think my brother's watched any of it yet. So someday, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yeah. it's a good, it's a good show. It's worth watching. It's a fat, it's still one of, it's still probably my favorite show. Yep. I think, I think it is. I think it still is. And watching these two episodes just clarified that for me. Yeah. I was like, Man, this is so good. Yeah. I mean, just SOS alone, I was like. This, I mean, just the writing. I'm like, I, why? I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't know if it's just what I've watched recently, but I'm like, where is this writing been mm -hmm. on network yeah. television? Yeah. It doesn't, I feel like Lost was the last big network television show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know what kind of came after that. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. Because Game of Thrones started right after it ended. So, yeah. But it had all the, it had all the elements too. It had the soundtrack, it had. Oh, yeah. Even these two episodes, the, the writing is just this. So both episodes have such impactful scenes, endings, middles. It's just um, amazing. Yeah. amazing. Cliffhangers, like I, you don't see things coming. It's no, yeah. you're always caught off guard. You're like, oh my God, what? Like yeah. I was expecting that. So. Well, the two for the road has that shocker at the end. Mm -hmm. that, I'm like, that is, I think the whole series, I mean, there are cliffhanger endings. There are jaw dropping like season two ending mm -hmm. but this was the most I, I think impactful like oh my god ending yeah i think not including a season finale i think right. it was definitely one of yeah. those yeah right and like kind of going back to what i was talking about i want to say 
I could be wrong, but I want to say two for the road when that ended, when it aired and it ended, I think it was around that episode that they officially announced that they were going to be putting episodes on the internet, mm -hmm. like on ABC. I think it was, for some reason, I have that episode in my brain of like, that's when they announced they were first going to do that. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Interesting. Because I'm like, oh, great. I can watch him get shot before I watch it again. Yeah. Like, it's whether or not you have DVR, you know, it's, you know, some people couldn't do that. So, All right. Yeah. And I gave you a chance. But, but yeah. But I miss well, it. I miss Lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a great show. It'll be back again. In some yeah, yeah. yeah. Disney and ABC is, is, is yeah, going to bring it back somehow. Yeah, then you, and you're I'm to make more money. So, oh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would not mind a continuation, but I don't want to reboot. That's what everyone says. They don't want to reboot. They want, you know, like we were saying last week. Uh, Karen and Joel and I were all talking about. Okay, talk about the Dharma Initiative, how it started, how mm -hmm. to go back and you know maybe how Mother and how she get, just different stories from the island. Oh, yeah. yeah, and tell different stories, but don't reboot because I don't think you, you can't improve on it. Yeah, there, there's just no way you can improve on it. Yeah. So leave that alone and just do the the other like each 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 year have a ten part mini series of uh, mm -hmm. what you know of different storylines. Yeah, because yeah, they made the island a character, right? So they can always right. I mean, honestly, if they did bring it back and you know they say they do it in you know five to ten years from now, the only characters really that you would need would be you know Hurley, Walt, and Ben, maybe. Right. That's it. Right. Everybody else can be completely new cast, and whether or not they're there permanently or they're there, you know, once in a while, they could, they could. There's ways around it. So, right. and they now they could do a like, whole new story and keep, you know, as long as the canon stayed, I'd be, I'd be fine with it. So. And they can do that 10, 10 episode production, high quality production. You know, yeah. keep that. I mean, they were doing what twenty four episodes back in the day. Yeah. 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 They could put on. They could put it on Disney Plus, right? Absolutely. Yeah. That's probably what we're. Well, either that or Hulu. No, that's true. Hulu. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Probably go. Probably go Hulu. But, either way, it, it, we know it's going to come back. No. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. Actually, I, it's, I'm surprised it's taken this long because it's been yeah. ten years mm -hmm. since it ended. Will be soon. It'll be ten years. But yeah. right. anyway, well, we start off with SOS, and Bernard doesn't seem happy. <laughs> He says, uh, you know, they've all, and he's, you know, he's actually right. You know, we got a kitchen here. We got, you know, everyone's just kind of given up on being rescued. And this is, this is their life. Mm -hmm. And then he makes a great point where he says, well, I'm sorry. I was on the other side of the island trying to survive every day. Right. Yep. Cause, Cause they did have a different experience on the other side than they did, than our losses have had. Right. Mm -hmm. Much, much worse. <laughs> I think. Yeah. But then we go to, Rose just wants status quo. She doesn't want to. Right. That's that's what it comes down to. And we don't and we don't know why at first. We don't right. know. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. That's another not, thing Lost always did beautifully is they kind of gave you that thing you didn't understand, and then by the end you completely understand, you know, why she felt that way, and it just it always wrapped up so wonderfully. And they yep. explain, they it did explain things. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Know, it wasn't just she was being you know adamant about staying. They actually gave her a reason. So. Well, it's also why you understand why she she believes so much in the island mm -hmm. and what was going on there. That that's why she probably believed that Bernard was still alive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's why she had such faith that he was still alive. But mm -hmm. then we got poor Locke, who's so into the map, trying to figure it out. He's the, the, it's beeping and beeping, jacking it. Locke, the numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Push your button, buddy. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> And then uh, poor Ben hasn't eaten in a couple days. Um, his choice. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is his choice. Uh, we, we've been talking about how great the show got when uh, Michael Emerson joined. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's 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 how this how could this show get better? Right. And that and was he, to be a short stint. That was like a yeah, six, 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 I bet six episodes. I think. Yeah. It was just he was, to be season two. Like he wasn't he wasn't supposed to be like Ben. No. Right. No. It was it was just supposed to he was just supposed to be an other, I guess. No, know. but he uh he just elevated everyone's game. Mm -hmm. And he's just a, such a great actor and and they you know the course of writing is excellent and he just pulls it off. Yeah. Uh Jack talks with Ben, he's he's going out to the line and they're gonna 
they're going to make a deal. Sure. And ben, <laughs> sa ben says, they'll never give you Walt. Uh -huh. Never. <laughs> then we go off island. Rose is stuck in the snow, and that's how Rose and Bernard meet. I love it. Can, can we go back to the, the Dharma food stuff for a second? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mac and cheese. The first time I realized where Dharma Lars came from. Oh, really? I was holding a box. I had no idea that was the yeah. Dharma Malamars, I guess. Is that what yeah, that, that Yeah, that's what, they, that's what they. This was the episode where she held it up and I read it. I went, right. duh. <laughs> <laughs> I, honestly, I, I never made that connection, so I'm glad you just told me. Yeah, I, I, assume, I mean, I, I'm assuming that's what that's it. That's exactly where it came from. Wow. Yeah, there you go. I See, can, I can, I can you watch Lunch, you learn something new. Yeah, I can verify that's where it came from. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. But I thought it was a good story how Rose and Bart, you know, she's, you know, she doesn't want to be told what to do in the snow. Everyone has, anytime you're stuck, your car's stuck or you, there's something going on, people always have that, you're doing it wrong and everyone has their own way of doing it. But of course, Bernard was right here. Mm -hmm. You got a rocket. Yeah. yeah. And I have been stuck in the snow and that has happened to me and somebody came out to help me. Well, it was somebody I knew. It wasn't a stranger, but they're like, you have to, we got to do this and you'll get out. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> In fact, that scene was filmed. That's in Hawaii, of course. So that was all fake snow. Yeah. And that was in the parking lot of the bar that Desmond walks into to watch the soccer game. So, oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, tools. Yep. Huh. Right next well, to Niagara Falls. Now we learned something. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Right next to Niagara Falls in China. There we go. Or Korea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hurley's on a new diet, just fish and uh, fish and water. Uh, Bernard, Bernard is gathering people for something. He, he's got a plan. He's got something going on. Uh, and then Jack wants Anna Lucia to stay behind to watch Locke because he doesn't trust Locke. Mm -hmm. He doesn't trust Locke, or is, Locke, is, is it, it doesn't trust Locke, or is it just Locke is not, he's not in the right frame of mind? I think it's a combination, and also he's on crutches currently, so <laughs> he can't, he's, he wouldn't be a quick, uh, you know, rescuer to help him out, not, yeah. you know, not in the condition, really. So. But Anna Lucia wanted to go along, but he says, no, no, you got to stay and watch that guy. <laughs> Well, they're uh, the only ones that know about Ben, right? Too. Ben? Yeah. 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 Because we keep secrets. Yeah. We keep secrets on Lost. Uh, Jack, I like how this scene. Jack goes up to Kate and Sawyer, and I think, uh, what does uh, Sawyer say? Oh, great! Here comes Doctor Giggles or Doctor Fun. Or yeah, Doctor Giggles. Giggles. That was one of yeah. my favorite yep. things. And he, and then of course Sawyer thinks, okay, I'll go. You want the guns? I guess you want. He goes, I don't want you. Mm -hmm. I want Kate. Right. And I was like, so and, 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 and Sawyer was like, he's almost, up, he's almost upset that he didn't get picked. Yeah, he was, because he wanted to hold something over him. Like anything yeah. he can hold over him, he always loves mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Uh, Bernard talks to the group about how he, he wants to build a massive sign. And it's, it's it, it actually makes sense. Mm -hmm. You would think. think he wants to get rescued. Yeah, he's, he's yeah. all being yeah. up. If they weren't on that island, that would probably work. <laughs> yeah. But th but they don't know. And he's like right. saying, well, the airdrop, it was probably mm -hmm. dropped by a plane. The food drop was dropped by a plane. It had parachutes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's thinking, okay, if a plane, they see the SOS, they'll send help. And yep. mm -hmm. so I'm thinking he's he's okay. That I, I, I'm, I probably would have worked with him. Definitely. Two miles, yeah. two miles to get one rock, though. That was... <laughs> well, well, that's a little. But what else are you doing? Yeah, you got nothing else to do. I mean, it would give you something to do. There's no internet. There's no, you know, there's nothing to do. So, but then you got Rose, and, and you know, like, I remember the first time I watched this, how we were talking about it. I, Rose is undermining him. Mm -hmm. I go, why is she being such a jerk? He's, it, it, yeah. what is he doing that's wrong? Mm -hmm. And we have no, we have no idea. Making mm -hmm. fun of him for being a dentist was a low blow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He got, he got to walk off with that one. He walked off. Even Bernard can handle that one. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, she she tells him you're giving them false hope, and I go. But again, at this point, again, we don't know why Rose is is acting the way she is. I go. What what's all you need? You got to have hope, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. If I'm stranded there, I mean, I, I I agree with both. You need to make life as comfortable as possible. Right. Right. But. 
I want to eventually get off the island. Yeah. And it's one of those things with a lost episode. You you don't really understand what's going on at this point. You're just like like no. scratching your head. You're like you're just thinking she's got to have a reason. But what could it possibly be? Because everybody right. wants to leave. So yeah. Yeah, we don't know. And then we have. I think we know everybody but Locke, right? At this point, wants to leave. That Locke, Locke doesn't want to leave? Yeah. Just because yeah. we know that he can walk again. Well, I never understood why Kate wanted to leave. Yeah. Right. Because she would be arrested. Yeah. Sawyer, I, well, I, who knows with Sawyer? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Bernard, we're, we are at Niagara Falls. It, it's beautiful. It's He brings a ba uh, band over and he proposes to her and she goes, but I'm dying. And so, so now we're starting to get a little bit of what I think was going on. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was a great scene. I thought both actors were fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so well written I mean, too. Yeah. It's just, it just pulls your heartstrings in the way that, yeah, the way they did that scene where he said, you didn't answer my question was just. Yeah. yeah. And he's look, the way he's looking at her, it's mm -hmm. like, he's truly in love with her. And I just think yeah. I, 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 that's fantastic acting, mm -hmm. but he's like, you said, he still wants to marry her. Yeah, now you're, now you're totally sucked into this episode. Totally, like like Lost yeah. Stuff yeah. is a point in an episode where you're just like, I'm in, all in. Yeah. Because yeah. well, it's like, you have, of course, every show has those episodes, right? We're like, oh, it's a sea storyline. It's about these people. We don't really care about these people. Right. And then you get to that point, and you're like, oh. Right. What's, what's because we don't know how long it's been between her saying she has cancer, him asking her, her to marry her, marry him, and uh, then I'm and how they're on the island right well they say mm -hmm. when they're having dinner how long had it been since they met i think they say yeah but, but not, we don't not know. in between that and like um uh sydney i don't think we right know. i was because you're thinking okay has it been three years four years it had been how is she still alive mm -hmm. that right. whole thing because she said she was you know i think she said she had less than a year to live right yeah yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. So anyway, uh, then uh, great scene. Bernard goes to recruit Charlie and, and Echo, oh. and Echo says, "No, we're building a church because that's what we need with a saint." Yeah. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and then Bernard gives a great line. I guess I liked you better when you were just beating people with your stick. <laughs> it was fantastic. And Echo just looks at him like it's Bernard. What I, what am I going to do? I'm, I can't get mad at Bernard. Yeah. Uh, sure, it's but, fantastic. right. Bernard wants to talk to Ben, and Analysia says the door stays closed. So, because they don't have a gun, so, mm -hmm. or Locke so, wants to, right? Yeah, Locke wants to, oh, and then Bennett, yeah, Locke wants to talk to Ben, but the, he, she says, No, you can, but the door stays closed. Right? And it's like, Did you press the numbers? <laughs> oh, and he had, yeah. the, he had like a maniacal look on his face. Oh, that smirk but, is just. Uh, yeah. That smirk is so fabulous because you're just and like, you, did he? Didn't he? Oh my god! No, we pissed at him. And what is he? What did he do? Driving lot crazy, <laughs> and, and that's what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, he he, he actually does it. Oh, you know, they're all most of their scenes together. He's driving a lot crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's getting in his head, getting in his head, getting in his head, and it's just poor Locke is, is the perfect. No, no pun intended, but he knows how to push his buttons. Yeah, yeah he does. <laughs> <laughs> he really does, and it's it's it's. It's sad to see. I mean, Locke is who he is, but it's just sad to see this poor guy just just wanting to believe in something. And but he, you know, he. Yeah. I always say he got a second chance on the island. He didn't take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. Felt like, saint. This is the whole testing his faith. Season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, then we we go. Uh, the remain. Uh, the where am I at here? Oh, uh, Ben has a great smile. We talked about that. Uh, the remaining group is not too thrilled about having to gather the rocks. <laughs> They're like, uh, I don't know about that. Like and then we he, he mentions Frogert and some other people that we've we'll see later on, but we haven't seen yet. Right? Oh, you we haven't seen Froger yet? No, no, it's Neil. It's Neil. It's Neil. Neil. Neil Froger. Yes. Oh, it's Neil. <laughs> Albert Burr. <laughs> <laughs> He's always, it, it, people, it he's always, always be the milk guy to me. It makes me realize too that everybody's pretty entrenched in. They're they're all you know. We're here. We're gonna make the best of it there. Bernard's really the only one at this point that's really 
proactive. Let's yeah. get to yeah. the Yeah, he is. I mean, uh, Echo's dead building a church. Rose is building a kitchen. It's you know. yeah. Yeah. Bernard just awesome. wants to get off the island. Exactly. Yeah. Although I do uh, like Hurley. He's like, we built a raft, dude. We got it. <laughs> and he's right. We it's built like, we raft. didn't do nothing. You were here. We did do something. <laughs> you missed it. They, they blew it up. Oh, what do you want me to do? Yeah. Dude. It took a long time yeah. to build the raft. I think it, that's it, the thing too, right? Because they did that. It took a lot of effort and mm -hmm. nothing. So they're obviously discouraged from yeah. mm -hmm. doing it, something. Again. And it was a nice raft too. And they built it twice. Yeah. True. Because yeah. Walt burned it. Yeah, that's right. Set it on fire. So mm -hmm. poor losties. Anyway, Rose and Bernard are in the outback and not okay. the restaurant. They're in Australia. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Bernard is bringing Rose to a faith healer. Not and him. no, it's just like so. Now we kind of see that okay, this is how they probably ended up on flight eight fifteen because of this and the whole thing. So it's it's mm -hmm. again though, but why is she? How is she still alive? I guess is what we're all saying. Mm -hmm. uh, Rose has Rose has made peace with it, but Bernard keeps wanting to try. So we're having the same storyline off the island as on the island. And that was very cool, right? Because you had yeah. flashback parallel the island of what was going on. But Bernard was this total optimist willing yeah. to try anything and Rose was like blocking everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In both instances. Uh, he, uh, Sawyer, and we go back to, uh, oh, he goes to Sawyer to try to get help and yeah, Sawyer goes, yeah, I'm not helping. Hasn't he not? He doesn't give a reason, I don't think, does he? He's, he just says, I don't want to do it. He goes, I, 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 I a pass, a Pasadena, a Pasadena, Pasadena, Pasadena yeah. on it. So it's like, yeah. uh, Bernard tells Rose, if I didn't always have to do something, you wouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. So he's, he thinks that, that going to the faith healer saved her, right? Is that what we're assuming? Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. that, that line has a lot of meaning to it for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Cause it's, if I didn't, you know, if I didn't do it, you wouldn't be on the Island. And if I didn't, right. if I didn't have to do something, I would never have met you. So it's it's got to. Oh, okay, yeah, it's true. Yeah. He's always trying. He's always trying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then and the faith healer. Have we seen him yet on the show? Is that the first time? I think it's the first time. That's the first time. Because he first is in it again somewhere, right? I forget. I forget where else he popped up. I was like, he was. So I believe. I believe we do see him again. I think we do. Was it with maybe with Claire? Is he the one with the baby that says don't uh, can't be raised by another, or that that's a different guy? No, he's not the psychic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Or maybe Locke. Yeah, I don't remember. I can't remember, but I, I I think you could be right. I think we did see him again. We have four seasons to figure this out. I know. So. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, if it gets been five years since I watched an episode of Lost. Yeah. So, uh, it shocked me that when Jack and Kate are talking as they're walking along, why you ask me? And Jack said, "Well, I wanted Saeed to go." <laughs> But he said no. Mm -hmm. Why? Why didn't say? Why wouldn't say he'd want to go? He just wanted to be in this episode. Is that? Is that what the deal was? <laughs> yeah, it really wasn't. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> and then, he, then he was kind of harsh. I thought to Katie, he goes, "I only chose you because they don't want you." Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't. They had you. They did. They gave you back. They didn't want you. Mm -hmm. Then he kind of says, "Well, you know, they they didn't want me either." So, and then Kate, of course, doesn't listen. She sees a doll over there, and Jack's like, no, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. She touches it, and they both end up in a trapped in a net. Trapped in the net. The Russo right. baby net. <laughs> not, a bad, not a bad situation, I thought, for Jack. But uh, well, That's what Jack's been looking for, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> uh, then they, uh, Kate, they're trying to get the gun, and there's, you know, it's kind of awkward and everything like that. Kate goes, oh, I'll shoot, and she messes by a good foot, foot and a half. I really think Kate would have made it more than Jack that shot. <laughs> I, I don't, I, yeah, I was like that. Yeah. I, I thought Kate was the better shot too. Yeah. Mm -hmm, I, think yeah. Would have been. I think she would have been. But Jack gets it on the first try. So mm -hmm. Jack wins. <sighs> TV shows. <laughs> oh, he had the better angle, right? Was that it? Right. Yeah. I think, I think if he had the better, angle. I think he said that too, though. I yeah. have the better angles. Yeah. Right. But they were both on the same side of the, mm -hmm. I I don't know. 
Well, she and was, was shooting like with her other hand through the thing, and then he just got like he just like went wide with it. So yeah, yeah. Either way, I think it's a it's a one in a million shot to hit yeah. on the first oh, try. For sure. someone that doesn't do it for a living, like really, come on. yeah. First shot, first bullet. Yeah. Then we have a great scene where Jin and, and Bernard are talking, and, and uh, Jin is not doing it the way Bernard wants. Mm -hmm. And Jen says something and just storms off. He quits. From the air. Yeah. So great. I mean, yeah, Jen kind of, I'm sure I almost felt sounded like one of those was like a swear. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he was swearing. You know, yeah. I'm the only one still here helping you. Shut up. Yeah. yeah. Leave me alone. That was fantastic. I love her. Then we have a great scene between Locke and Rose on the beach. And she says, she goes, because, you know, he says, well, Jack says it's going to take four weeks to heal. She goes, we both know that's not true. Mm -hmm. And that's we're like, well, well how did, oh, that's right. Then we go, oh, my God, she knows. How does she know? Yeah. So she knows because, well, we'll find out later mm -hmm. how she knows. Mm -hmm. uh, Rose talks with Isaac, the faith healer. That's me. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Is that. Was that Isaac calling? <laughs> You got the right energy over there, Bill. Yeah, he says there, there are great areas on Earth that have great energy and they, their healing powers and all this different stuff. Uh, then he starts doing something with the Rose's face, and, and uh, he says, "It kind of jumps back and says, I can't, mm -hmm. I can't do anything for you now.' So obviously, he's probably legit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, why couldn't he do anything for her? Well. That's an, that was such a that whole thing about the energies is also part of the whole show, which at the time right. we, didn't, we kind of were wondering, but right, you know, we didn't know. So, I mean, I guess it's a, I think it's more of a, I don't know if it's like a combination of the Jacob. Was she one of the numbers? No, she wasn't one of the numbers. No, no. But you don't know if still she wasn't chosen to be, you know, still her right. partner that way. So, mm -hmm. you know, it could be that because he instantly kind of stopped. Right. right. So it's kind of like he knew she, her path was somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So he's like, "I'm. It, it's not. I'm not tapped to heal you. It's. It's for another. Fate has other plans. Basically, he didn't say it that way, but um, no. Yeah, but I definitely think. You know, I think he. Not that he knew, but he had a way of knowing that she had to go another direction. So. Mm -hmm. I always find it interesting. Did he know that she was going to be on flight 815? Did he know about flight 815? Yeah. Um, it's just one of those unanswered questions that mm -hmm. because he does, he stops like he, he gets and, and yeah. he just he's he's startled. He like he back. sees something because he right. Either. And so, so, you know, whatever power he has with the energy, you know, that he sees something. So, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I want to know now. I really want to know like where else he pops up. <laughs> <laughs> but he says this is not the right place so we know that she's probably going to end up on the island which will be the right place for her uh kate finally tells jack about the medical hatch so kate finally tells the doctor about the metal hat and, and she and really shouldn't do it because she's she's been out of the loop mm -hmm. I, again because she's saying they're I get it, but it's just like okay, he's the doctor, uh -huh. and you have a medical. I mean, I yeah. These, these people drive these people drive me crazy sometimes yeah, because because yeah. everybody was checking them and said, yes. "Why are you going to tell me this? Like, why didn't you tell this earlier?" But there's always some kind of gamemanship going on between the three of them, so between Jack Sawyer and Kate, there's always something going on. Right. Yep. Yeah, it just yeah. it bugs me. But like, what am I going to do? I didn't write the show. Uh, <laughs> Bernard is working on the sign, but fun for drama, Jack. And I know, I know, and it, 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 it does add drama. But I, I still remember when we were podcast about that. I go, when is she going to tell him about the hatch? Right. Well, how long what? ago was the episode? I because I've been. It, it was like three. It was maternity leave, so it was like three episodes ago. Okay. Yeah. There was. I, I mean, no, I know in days it's it's only like a day or two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. But still. Yeah. She's seen him a, a number of times. He's been so with him, yeah. I mean, they've been walking through the jungle for a couple hours. Right. I won't complain because mm. I don't want to complain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kate and Jack reach the line, and Jack starts yelling, ah, 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 just sort of screaming. Uh, Bernard is working on the sign by himself, and Rose brings him some dinner. Feeling a little guilty, I think Rose is. 
Well, also because no one, everybody left him. <laughs> <laughs> and she, and then she tells him, she goes, you know, Isaac didn't heal me. It was the island. Mm -hmm. She goes, when you have something inside of you that doesn't belong, mm -hmm. when it's gone, you know it. Yep. So, so like we were said in the beginning, now we know why she didn't want to leave. Mm -hmm. The island had healed her. Now, I don't know why she just didn't tell him in the beginning, look, I can't, I mean, I know it's for the drama, yeah. but, it, or she didn't want to upset him because he always felt that he saved her. Maybe that was what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Cause he, she let him keep the money that he donated. Right. So and he to... thought that, that, okay, I, I, cause there's a, we talked about that line earlier. You wouldn't be here if it weren't for me. Mm -hmm. Right. Which could have meant a, a lot of things, but maybe that's what she why she didn't tell him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she probably thought I will never have to tell him because he's never going to try and build a sign to get us off the island. <laughs> <laughs> or come up again, yeah, yeah. Uh, that also, that also that it was at that scene where he said, "If you don't want to leave, then we don't. Then I don't. I won't either." Right. Exactly. Yeah. It, they're just a great couple. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know, he, I think he said he was 56 and had been a bachelor for 56 years. Yeah. And he found his soulmate or whatever you want to call mm -hmm. call it. He found someone that he just wanted to spend the rest of his life with. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a great love story. Uh, but then we see in the airport, she drops her pills and Locke in a wheelchair picks them up. Mm -hmm. So now we know that she knows yep. that Locke was always in a wheelchair. Right. And she never said anything. Nope. She, she never told anybody. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, that many people find out in the show. Um, I mean, maybe the the Oceanic Six probably, but I don't know if anybody else on the island found out. Yeah, it's true. Hmm. Have to think about that one. Yeah, because yeah. we had the episode before. The, the episodes before is when uh, he gets hurt. Locks his head, uh, Jack says, well, there's a wheelchair. He goes, no, no, yeah, yeah. I'm in a wheelchair. Yeah. It's a great scene. But, mm -hmm. And we all knew why. Yeah. And then they're talking about Anna Lucia. She says, hey, I pressed your button. <laughs> <laughs> and and she, he goes, it's not my button. <laughs> so suddenly it's not his button. So he's, he's again, right. he's all he's all messed up. It's, it's a mess. <laughs> Then we have the montage with the great music and they're showing oh, the different yeah. losties and um, that was Kate, gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. They, went, yep. they went from the song into like Giacchino's score. Mm -hmm. You know, he kind of did the score, you know, with the orchestra. It was oh, I'm so pretty. I love I always think about with SOS, just them hugging and that music starting to play and mm -hmm. going through that montage. Yeah. Again, it's it's we we say how great this show is. I mean, it just it's just perfect. Yeah, I mean, other shows do montages and stuff like that, but it doesn't hold up to Lost. No, it's really beautiful. Yeah, it really is. And then they did, they made sure to focus kind of on couples or right. other, and then they get to Sawyer, and it's like, you get... He gets the dog. He, <laughs> he gets, gets Vincent. <laughs> he, did, he, did pet, he did pet Vincent. He did. <laughs> Sawyer, at least, the, well, he had food, so... Mm -hmm. Vincent's not stupid. Uh, <laughs> Kate and Jack are waiting by the fire. Kate says she's sorry he kissed him. Jack says, I'm not. <laughs> and then something's rustling in the jungle, blah, 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 blah. And it's Michael. Michael returns and he's passed out. Mm -hmm. That's it. Boom. Boom. That's a great, great idea. So what do you guys think of SOS? I love that. Episode. I did too. I like I said, the way the dichotomy just fit together, the, the flashback and the current day were parallel stories, which was great because it kind of filled in all the blanks that um, and the ending was beautiful. Um, I loved it. Definitely one of the, I mean, one of my favorite, probably, I, I don't want to say secondary characters, but I guess Rosa Bernard could be considered secondary characters. One of one of my favorite standalone of a secondary character on the show. was this Oh, one. yeah, they're, de they're definitely secondary characters, but they're, they're just, you, you think they're in, I don't think they were in more than like 16 or 17 episodes. I mm -hmm. could be wrong, but it seems like they were in more because we know them so well. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. True. I mean, I could be wrong. They could have been more than that, but but yeah. it's, it's but it left on a great cliffhanger too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're like, well, what's Michael doing back here? No, don't 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 go away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and was there? I don't know if you guys remember. Was there only a week in between these two episodes? I don't. I, I don't remember because remember, I think it was. 
was it season three? They started with the three week, two weeks and three weeks off and all that different yeah, stuff. Yeah, season three mm-hmm. had a mid season hiatus. I think was the first yeah. One. I know. They, well, they had six episodes. Right. Then they stopped until like yeah. February or something like yeah. that. Um, oh, I do. Yeah, mm-hmm. I do remember that. Yeah, because it was the Kate okay, Dammit run, and then it was off for like a couple months. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, it was it was frustrating. Mm-hmm. They really knew how to drive us crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But uh, again, great. And now we have another episode with probably uh, might even be better than SOS, but I will wait and see mm-hmm. what you guys think. But two for the road. Uh, Michael is out of it. Uh, Jack picks up Michael, but they don't put out the fire. Kate does. <laughs> I, I thought I thought Kate just grabbed a branch. No, she does. Because you hear I, I watched it because I'm like, I always remember that scene going, they're not going to put this fire out. And when I was watching. I was like, oh, yeah, she does put it out because you you hear her like throwing dirt. Okay, I'll like, have to go back and check because no, I thought she. she just, I, just, I just, I just thought she grabbed a a, a burning log so they could have. Uh, I mean, food. you don't. You, to, to your point, Jackie, you don't actually see it, but in my mind, when I watch it, I'm like, okay, I think she's putting it out. <laughs> but it's funny you mentioned that because I thought the exact yeah. same thing. Because uh-huh. I say that's irresponsible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also what she threw Michael's torch too, just like threw it aside. Yeah, but yeah. That, that would light on fire, but sure. Mm-hmm. And it's funny though. At first, Jack is more concerned about how Michael got there instead of helping Michael. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes he forgets he's the doctor. Yeah. Right. <laughs> well, because he, he's thinking he's not by himself, right? He's thinking they just let him go, or right, right. right. Him. yeah, a trap. Like testing yeah. them or tra- yeah, yeah. And Kate's like going, "He came on his own," mm-hmm. and That's basically she's saying, "You're the doctor. Help him out." <laughs> but yeah. Jack, you know, Jack sometimes. Mm-hmm. Freaks out. Uh, then we get it's an Anna Lucia fa- flashback, and she's her mom has uh, got some questions for her about what she did last night. Mm-hmm. And she's like, uh, I watched some movies, I watched some TV, had some, some dinner. Tell uh, somebody. <laughs> what, what, did yeah. say? what did you watch? What did you watch? Is that what she said or something? She said, Yeah, what did you watch? And she goes, uh, <laughs> Rookie mistake. If you're going to kill somebody and you want an alibi, you, Know what happened? You know, yeah, know what was playing the night. But... You need detail. That's, yeah. that's, that's is it is it is it easier now though? Because you can say, "Well, I watched. I was watching Netflix, and I watched." Because may, they might be able to trace it though. If you what you they could, what you streamed, right? Yeah, I bet they could. Oh, so uh, you watch Law and Order is on twenty four hours a day somewhere, right? So yeah, yeah. <laughs> I watched a rerun of Friends or something like that. Seinfeld. Yeah. But if you have your receiver on, like say you have cable, if you have your receiver on, you know, yeah. it's watching something. How would it know if your TV is also on watching it, or the receiver is just it has a feed? Well, that's what I guess you do. You have to do. You have to put the TV on, mm-hmm. put Hulu on or Netflix, whatever it is, and just have it keep running. Because yeah. it, it'll go to the next show over and over again to the next episode, the next episode. So yeah, for a while anyway. <laughs> so if you're look, if you're looking to kill someone, there's your alibi. Well, people I do. Lost three months and murder tips. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't kill anybody. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, yeah, did anybody I'm know that the, uh, the three stars lined up on the roof had the lost numbers on? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You know, I was on Reddit recently, and someone posted that saying they had watched Lost. Like done like eight or nine rewatches and never noticed that. Really? Okay. And I didn't call him out, but I wanted to say, how could you never have noticed that? It's like so obvious. Yeah. Your brain yeah, I, comes, our brains watching the show just became fine I, enough. Fine yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's because it, it, yeah. it became a game, you mm-hmm. know, and it, especially if you watched it when it was going on. Yeah. Because well, like, everybody's like, talking like, about. Yeah, it. yeah. It's like when you the pineapple. Like yeah. Did we get? Did we really get numbers obsessed by that point, or was it more? We did, especially this season, I think, with the hatch and the numbers. Yeah, because the, the numbers meant. What the numbers meant, yeah. Yeah, yeah what's, are the numbers evil? Are the numbers, why Why were they on the hatch? We never get, we don't get explanation for that till later on. But we're, you know, the Hurley played at the lottery. So, yeah, they, they were hitting us over the head with the numbers. Yeah, yeah. I, I still mean, get excited in real life when I see the numbers. <laughs> yeah. I like, can't help but I go, oh, 15. Oh, that's what uh-huh. the numbers. <laughs> yeah, or my anytime my you know grocery bill is went away or it, you know it's funny every time I, I still I'm like oh and then I say it out loud and then the people around me are like I don't understand yeah I did this I, I did that at five guys one time I got number twenty three I go oh one of the numbers and the, and the, the kid's like, <laughs> like eighteen you're right it is a number he just looks at me and goes yeah you're twenty three I go <laughs> right. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. But even heads. better, you, Jack was 23, wasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they just looked at me like, I think I posted it on Instagram or something, yeah. but the kid just looked at me like, just get out of here, old man. I got, I got a line of people and you're bugging me. Uh, but uh, she shows Jason, she shows Anna Lucia, the, uh, Jason's dead body and she, good shot. Good shooting. Mm -hmm. You can see why you can see why uh, Shannon never had a chance. Yeah. Well, and maybe she, she would have hit the rope at the first try. <laughs> yeah. She, I'm sure she would have. Yeah. 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 And and she goes, I don't want your, she tells her mom, I don't want your help. Right. Now, does she not want her help because she doesn't want to bring her mom down? Is it better well, that her mom doesn't know because her mom's a captain and, you know, it has a nice pension set up? Is she, is she, is she, act, I always try to be, to be the uh, positive person for Anna Lucia because mm -hmm. so many people hate her. Right. Mm -hmm. But was she doing, doing it not to bring her mom, is, the less her mom knows, the better. Yeah, not to be a disappointment, I would think, right? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. that's mm -hmm. that's true. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and asks Henry, how long are you uh, going to keep up this hunger strike? And uh, and he just Henry's not eating his, uh, but then he attacks her, and he, that was he's brilliant. doing pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> that was brilliant how he did that. He's so yeah, good. I mean his hands are tied, but he still had enough to, mm -hmm. to choke her and stuff like that, and then. Uh, just that little whisper. What? And and he's, he yeah he says to her he goes tells her that you know you killed two of us we were gonna leave you alone mm -hmm. but at this point mm -hmm. I don't believe she had, they dragged the kids off had dragged they they had taken you know they they had done enough to where I think she had to worry about what they were doing I mm -hmm. and he tells you you were a killer Analysia you're the killer. Mm -hmm. Because Ben, oh, and we find out later on, Ben's really the killer. Right. What did he say? Like Goodwin was. Yeah, the killer, or, yeah. yeah. And then you killed him. Yeah, he or, says he, he, Goodwin was going to kill me, and he said, "Was he?" Yeah. Yeah. Because he says Goodwin believed in you. He thought he we could we could help help you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But anyway, uh, then Locke knocks Henry out, mm -hmm. and then Annalise seems thrilled with her job at the airport. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The wander, she's a yeah. wander. Yeah, exactly. She's not. She's not happy at all. How did you become a wander? <laughs> <laughs> it's an important job. I mean, we're we're kind of making fun of it, but it's an important job. But she, I, I wouldn't want her being in charge of the wanding because she doesn't seem to care at all. And it was very cool because when the first shot of her wanding, she's wanding a guy with lock shirt on. If you watch really? it. Again, Oh really? Yeah, yeah, and you look at it and you go, that's lock, but he pulls back and it's just a guy with that lock, that that blue striped white shirt. Oh, I didn't even I didn't yeah. even notice that. Why say wow. like and I thought it was locked both times, but it was just a shirt. Hmm. Yeah. Huh. yeah, I'll have to rewatch that. Yeah. I, that's I'm gonna write that down. Yeah. <laughs> good good thing to point out. <laughs> I like it. Uh she but are they uh, that, to fly for free to TSA. Do they, fly? Um, do they fly for free? Yeah, they probably get they? probably uh, maybe a discount. Maybe just a discount. I think so. Yeah. Just maybe. A, just if you're maybe honest. they maybe like airline employees where they get like they can fly for free if there's room on the plane. Yeah. Oh, that could be. Yeah. I don't know. I'm wondering like when she just turned around and then went with to Australia. Yeah. Pepper later. I'm like, did she just pick up? Just go. <laughs> well, I'm sure he paid. He paid for. It. Oh, he probably did. That's mm -hmm. okay. He's got money. Or was it cut off? I don't know. I don't know. Well, I, it's a great scene because we have she meets Christian Shepherd, but he gives her he gives her the name Sarah, mm -hmm. which yeah. is Jack's wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there's always been that theory that him him and Sarah were more of a than just father in law daughter in law. Yeah. That's what Jack. Thought. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. He did care about her, so. Mm -hmm. Didn't care about her as a daughter-in-law, or did get care about her more than that? I guess we'll never know. But yeah. right. it's funny that he does give uh, he gives her the name Sarah. Mm -hmm. He invites her to Sydney, Australia. Who wouldn't want to go to Sydney, Australia? Mm -hmm. Especially yeah. for free, I'd go. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I mean, if you had nothing tying you down and you could just go. Yeah, mm -hmm. and he's a bodyguard. And you're mm -hmm. a cop, and you know you're probably good at that. <laughs> Uh, Anna has a nice cut on her head. She tells Libby the guy in the hatch tried to kill her. Mm -hmm. And she says, don't do anything stupid, Analysia. 
Yeah. She knows Analysia that she says, don't do anything stupid, Analysia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Locke and Ben talk and he, and he goes, he goes, why didn't you kill? You know, basically say, why didn't you kill me? You could have, you could have killed me. He goes, you're one of the good guys. That's why. I, and then I get more getting into Locke's head. Oh, you're yeah. the reason. You're the reason I came came here. We were yeah. here to, to, to get bring you back. Yeah. All psychological games. Yep. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, and then Locke eats it up. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you're chosen. You're special. Like when his mom told him he was special, and you know it. It, it, you know, everyone wants to believe they're special, but sometimes you just have to believe. Well, okay, I'm not. I'm mm -hmm. just, I'm just the guy that knows a lot of stuff. But, <laughs> um, and then he says, "Well, the, the, he goes. The man is going to kill me because I failed at my mission. Oh, He's yeah. a great man, but I failed. I, and I was coming for you, Locke, and all that different stuff. And and so we know Ben is. We don't know at this point Ben's lying. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. I I'm curious um, when this scene was filmed or written did they know at that point they were gonna he was gonna extend to be ben or you know i don't know what at what point did they kind of change their plans for him i don't know i don't know when that happened i've never heard the story but that would be interesting to find out like you're mm -hmm. saying okay when did they come up with okay ben's gonna be the leader of the others he's killed he killed uh the dharma initiative people he did all this different stuff mm -hmm. when did they come up with that like I said, he was only supposed to be on for six episodes. Right. That happened. Uh, Damon Lindelof said, I think it was one of the concerts I went through that um, when Echo decided to leave, right. Ben took that, that vacuum space. So that, that's when they decided to write Ben in when they knew they were losing Echo. So okay. I don't okay. know what the time but it, Yeah. But it's interesting because of how he says that. Because mm -hmm. he makes you wonder, like, in Ben's mind, that's awesome because we know later he's talking about himself. Right. At the time when this character's saying this, we're like, did he know he was talking about? Himself? Yeah, it's so, true yeah. because or, it, I mean, yeah. Or they could have gone, you know, the Jacob route, but he was obviously probably talking about himself. So. Right. But like you said, he, he at, at this point was he just saying, okay, I'm only gonna be here for success. I failed my mission. I'm going to get killed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Was he being legit? Mm -hmm. Or was in the part about Locke, was that just him messing with Locke? I thought it was just him messing, like, you know, I'm I'm in I'm in jeopardy now. Yeah. yeah. To yeah. play on Locke's mind game. Locke. doing doing any mind game he can do to get out. Yeah. Right. Uh Sawyer wants analysts see us stay away from his mangoes. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working hard on these, you know, you know Sawyer doesn't share. No. Uh, but Analysia wants a gun. Oh, you do. Mm -hmm. You do. And then we go back to where Christian knocks on uh, Anna's door. It looks like crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like absolute crap. I mean, he's just, they did a great, because he's not a bad looking guy, but he, he looked like, he looked like death, like he was death. Yeah. <laughs> it's a great, great makeup job by them. <laughs> he says, it's time to go. It's, it's your job. He's like, Christian oh God, I was up. <laughs> yeah. And she, and she was, and she was, and she's ready to go. She goes, now, four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, uh, Christian knocks on the door of, and argues with a woman, saying it's his daughter. And I should have the right to see her. Mm -hmm. And we're like, his daughter. So yeah. we didn't know at this time who his daughter was. No, no. For a long time. I <laughs> forgot. I forget when we learned everything. Mm -hmm. It was one of my theories, though, that I I didn't call Claire, but I thought it was because we see the picture of Penny in the hatch, and when Jack stops and looks at it, I said, "Oh, my theory was that." Christian had an affair with someone and he had an illegitimate child mm -hmm. and Jay okay. will never give me credit for it, but I'm, I always take credit for it because oh, he has yeah. an illegitimate child. I mean, I, I didn't know it was Claire, but yeah. who would have guessed that? Um, but he says, you know, I pay, I pay for the mortgage on this house. I do. And just sort of like going, wow, what's the deal with this guy? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. crazy. Uh, so he's digging a hole for some reason. So who was the woman? Was that Claire's mom? Was Claire's mom. Yeah. Right. But we not, did we not see her in the other Claire episodes? We see her later yeah. on in a flashback. Right. Yeah, I think it's a different actor. Right? Wasn't she in the she church? Was always a different actor. Funeral, right? Um, that, yeah, that was, I. That was Claire's mother, right? Talking to Jack about the baby. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, different actor, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. That could be why then. 
I will have to figure it out. I mean, we'll see it later on. Yeah, I uh, forget but, the order. It messes with my head because I'm like, I don't remember what we're supposed to know right now. But Saeed's digging a hole, and this part just kind of, what was he digging a hole for? And he wasn't really too enthusiastic about digging the hole. Mm-hmm. He's got the little, like, Gilligan's Island <laughs> <That's just Yeah. laughs> shovel type thing, and I'm like going, but what was the hole for? I don't know. Well, what was Saeed doing these last couple? I mean, I don't know what he was supposed to be doing. I mean, I know he's in mourning because Shannon's died, and he's, yeah. he's still not he's still not the same, but I don't know. I, I just... It just anyway. Uh, Rainwater. I don't know. What he's doing. Yeah, it could be. Hurley wants to. He wants to play some music for Libby, and then he goes. That's how he goes. Well, if you really wanted to take Libby to this beach where I took Shannon, it's a lovely spot. And it was like, well, said, that's right. He <laughs> loves Shannon. Uh, Michael is still out out cold. Uh, Locke doesn't think it's a coincidence. Well, here's where Locke is smart. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes Locke. But see, Jack won't listen to him. So, but then Locke doesn't listen to Jack. So they both go back and forth. But he's right; it wasn't a coincidence that Michael just showed up. Mm-mm. Right? It wasn't. But I don't think Jack believes that. I think he just thinks it. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Analysts and Sawyer have a little uh, thing going on. <laughs> doing just a little. Now, how did he not know his gun was missing? He didn't check, I guess. When he, but wouldn't you? I mean, I, I would. I, I point, would not. We carry our phones all the time. Yeah. And so but if it's like in your pocket, you you always check if it's there. But I would know if I had something in my pocket. Yeah. Well, it's in the back. It's in the back of his jeans, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'd still know what I'd still. Yeah. That's where you. That's where you. I don't know. Well, they took. My, they were undressed, and then when they got dressed, he forgot that there was also a gun there. I guess I don't know. I I know, but I'm talking later. Well, we'll get to that part yeah. later on. But uh, Anna tells Christian uh, her real name. I'm Anna Lucia. Mm-hmm. And I'm he, still Tom. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, kiddo. Um, she asked him why he's here. He's here because he can't apologize to his son. And we don't know his son. We, we know who his son is, but she doesn't know. He doesn't know. No. Right. no. Uh, Christian opens the door on Sawyer. Yeah, that was great. I'm walking here. That was so great. Yeah. Um, I can remember when I have, oh my God, that's Sawyer. Anyway. Excel, you're like lost Excel did that all the time. <laughs> it, it did, it did. Just having those little things that add to those those little scenes and episodes that just and made it, you, it, it never pretty, got old either. No, it was, right, never, was, it, it was like you never could shut your eyes, like because always something no. would drag you back in. You mm-hmm. know, if it was like a boring monologue for 30 seconds, yeah. something would pop back into it. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. And she, she tells Christian, let's go back. He says, I could never go back. He's never going to go back, yeah. which is sad because, he, you know, he's, he's got a son. He's got a wife, mm-hmm. but he's not he's no longer a surgeon. Right. But anyway, uh, Hurley is gathering uh, food. Libby catches him. He, and sh- so she thinks that I, uh, she probably thinks right because of the episode before. Uh, Dave Hurley has that thing with the food, mm-hmm. and she thinks, "Oh, you're you're back to you know eating a lot of food again." Uh-huh. And he says, "Well, I'm, I'm I was gathering food for and planning a picnic." Yeah, he oh. was really shy. It was so funny. Oh, he, he was like such an awkward cover up. <laughs> yeah, he didn't know how to do it right. It was so yeah. Funny. Now you know, dude. Uh, you know, <laughs> oh, man. it was a it, it was a nice scene. Yeah. Uh, Anna talks with Jack about what's going on, about the whole thing, and uh, she's she had to get that cut, and then lock lock covers for her, mm-hmm. which doesn't really help. In the end, it's it's ba- it, you know you, okay, Locke's being a good guy, he's covering for Anna Lucia screw up, but mm-hmm. in the end, it's not a good thing uh-huh. because of what what happens. Yeah. Right. Uh, Michael is waking up. He says the others are in tents. They're in teepees. Yeah. They're they have a hatch. Uh, he says he didn't. Mm-hmm. It didn't really add up. Mm-hmm. Obviously, knowing what we know now, he was lying. Mm-hmm. But uh, he says they have a hatch, and and they're but they're they're not armed. They're not, not heavily armed. Yeah, we could take. Them. Yeah, yeah, we could take them. them. They're old. Half of them are old and women. Or yeah. Mm-hmm. Like that. But my thought was right away. Okay, you had a gun. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you take them out? Right. If they're not that heavily, but yeah. I'm, I'm not going to. Corey didn't like fully that. add up. It and then, uh, of course, uh, Jack and Locke talk. He tells uh, he tells Locke, "You were right. 
the way you were handling uh, Ben, the torturing him uh, to get information on him, you were right. I was wrong. Mm -hmm. And that had to be tough for Jack to admit that to Locke. Mm -hmm. Hell froze sure. over for a hot <laughs> <laughs> it, it did because and Locke's like, really? I was right? <laughs> like, You're Me? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Michael wants to be included on what Jack wants to do next. Which I, yeah, sure. You're it's your kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why would we leave you out? Uh, Libby and Hurley are lost, and then and Hurley goes, "Oh no, no, I found it! I found it!" He goes, <laughs> "It's our beach. There's Jen." <laughs> Such a I love that. It's like, it's like, oh, that's like Jen giving the thumbs up. I love yeah. that. That's yeah. a you know, honestly, unfortunately, lost did not exist in the. Time period of gifts where we, yeah, yeah. Time yeah. Like, but that is a gift that I see more often than any other. Yeah, Jen just turn the thumbs up. Well, like you said, they they made us laugh and smile before we have a terrible scene. Yeah, happens next. I mean, it's like you're laughing. You're like, okay, Hurley got lost. He mm -hmm. Libby goes, I'll go get the blanket. She's like, okay, finally Hurley's gonna. You know, we have no idea what's coming up oh, next. You, you can't see it a million miles away. It's, it's, there's no way. No. Oh, there. He's like, oh, wine. Oh, that's great, oh, wine. Oh, oh, oh wine. Okay, blankets. <laughs> so you, we're I thinking, okay. He forgot the blankets. Like, come yeah. On. <laughs> but it, it's it's such a it's such a great scene mm. that it if even if we had an idea that something might happen, which we like you said, Bill, we had no idea what was going to oh, happen. Okay. They really took us off the trail mm -hmm. and kind of yeah. Yeah. yeah uh libby goes for the blanket jim gives hurley the thumbs up because remember hurley gave jim the thumbs up early in the season when he came out and uh of the tent with uh son him and son's tent okay. <laughs> uh jack uh burns sawyer's manuscript the end. <laughs> give us the guns give us the guns uh, he says, "I know." Because then he, Jack points the gun at him. He goes to reach for a gun. He goes, "That's when he realized he didn't have yeah, his gun." I, I go, "Yeah." I go, "You're sitting down. You're doing." Now it's my turn. And, and, and Jack gets a call. No, anyway. Uh, <laughs> Stop! <laughs> they called me back. Hold on. Oh, God. They keep calling me, thinking I'm not answering for. In a long reason. Okay. But then when Jack finds out, when Locke finds out Anna Lucia has a gun, he goes, uh oh. Mm -hmm. We got to get back, Jack. Like, yeah. Jack, I got to tell you something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How far is the hatch from where they're at? Because the I don't know why it took them so long to get. Didn't take Libby long to get back to the hatch from where they were well, at. She was, it was different part of the day, right? She was already. Yeah. Long right. I guess that's true. That's true. Uh, Anna Lucia throws a knife at, to, to uh, Ben, tells him to cut himself loose. Mm -hmm. uh, ben tells, uh, this is where she tells Goodwin, he thought you were misunderstood. He thought you could change, he could change you. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack is at the airport telling a story. It's a sad story about how, you know, it's the, the story about how his dad, he goes, I'm in the suit that I'm going to, I have to, because this has to be over. I have to, it has to be done. Mm -hmm. uh, Anna Lucia is in line. She hears it. She goes and calls her mom and says, um, I'm coming home. Mm -hmm. So we think, you know, everything's going to be all right. So his, uh, Jack inspired her, call her mother. I mean, Jack inspired right. her phone call. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, Anna and Michael talk, and she says, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't, because at this point, we don't know if she's killed Ben or not. Mm -hmm. so right. We don't so know. Was that a commercial break? Rather? I think so, yeah. And then, but we don't we don't know if she's, because she's just sitting there cleaning the gun. Right. right. Sitting on the and she, yep. Yeah, she tells Michael, I, I I couldn't kill him. Mm -hmm. I couldn't do it. So the analysia of old has changed, mm -hmm. and it cost her her life. But anyway, I'll, uh, Michael, I'll do it. They're yeah, Michael's, it to me. Yeah, yeah. He goes. Michael says, "I'll kill him." Mm -hmm. And it gives Michael the combination, and he goes, "I'm sorry." And he shoots her, mm -hmm. and we're like, "What? Why right. is he shooting her? Oh no!" And then. Uh, he says, I'm sorry, shoots Anna Lucia. Libby walks in. Michael <laughs> shoots Never. her twice. Oh my god. And I'm like, oh my God. He goes, he opens up the hatch, and then he shoots himself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That so was now oh, when that scene aired, I remember like you just held your breath. Yeah. Right. That entire you just like we're just 
I mean, you couldn't even breathe. I was like, I was like, what? <laughs> the Libby thing was out of really left field. Right. That, that you didn't see coming a mile away. That when he when he held the gun with the "I'm sorry," you had a you, in a split second. You were like, "Oh no!" Like, what's he gonna do? You could you could have got away with killing Anna Lucia because I don't think a lot of people liked her. Mm -hmm. right. But throwing Libby in there was like, boom! Yeah. yeah. And, and we love Hurley, so it's like, okay, this is gonna crush Hurley. It's yeah. it's such a terrible scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what happened? But now do we? Is a theory because I, I think most theories out there were that Michael was sent back to get Ben if he wanted Walt was to get back and to kill Anna Lucia, right? And to release Ben. Yeah, he made it look like that by shooting himself. Made it look like he was you know overtaken. Right. right. Ben you know did everything so. And we don't know. We never found out for sure if they said specifically like kill Anna Lucia, but it was. Under any, maybe it's an, under any circumstances, like do this, mm -hmm. or maybe there were some people he wasn't allowed to kill. I mean, we don't know. Right. But. Well, I think they wanted to kill Anna Lucia because she did kill Goodwin. She did kill a couple of them, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, Echo did too. Yeah. But um, yeah. Overall, what did you guys think of uh, Two for the Road? Amazing ending. Yeah. I mean, I mean, a great episode in general, but the ending just solidifies it as one of the. One of the best episodes. Yeah. I mean, just like I said, of all the episodes, you have your cliffhangers, you have your, oh my God, wow, mm -hmm. uh, season two, oh, I can't believe it. This was just like jaw drop, like silence, like, mm -hmm. oh, you know? Like, no way they're going to kill these two characters right, yeah. in the middle of this, like, not, not at the end. They're going to kill them now? Yeah. 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 And again, Libby was like, oh my God. Yeah, Libby hurt the most. Yeah, he was like, "Oh my god," and she doesn't die right away. No, she doesn't. Right? No. So I did watch a little of the next one because I. Oh, you, 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 you couldn't stop, right? I couldn't stop. I like, oh. But both episodes, you know, SOS and Two for the Road, left with great cliffhangers. Mm -hmm. yep. Now, now, obviously, the cl best, best cliffhanger was Two for the Road because it was yeah. just like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, don't need it now. No, no. Right. But that's just the beauty of Lost. And like I said, I've got two great episodes mm -hmm. yeah. to watch and just you know, carry into the next. I think there's four left of the season. Right. Question mark. And I can't remember the other ones. Uh, but uh, I saw it a second ago and I don't mm -hmm. remember. Yeah. Question mark is the next one. Question mark is the next one. And then uh, anyway. Uh, uh, but yeah, it was uh, it was fun to rewatch these episodes. And yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, is number do, is in your guys' opinion from who you talk to? Do most people like season like which season do they say is the best? Do a lot of people say season two? A lot of people say season two. Yeah, yeah. that's what I think. And it's funny doing this rewatch. I kind of agree with it, but it's hard to not to like love season one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of love season five. That's like one of my yeah, yeah. seasons. I, and I like I like season three. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't hate any of the seasons. No, so. it's, hard. it's like picking your favorite kid, you know. It's like, but it, it's like you doing this. It's because, like you, Courtney, it's been like four or five years since I watched Lost. Mm -hmm. I've done it like three or four rewatches, mm -hmm. and uh, doing this one is like, God, this show is just so good. It's yeah. just so good. And uh, like season two, like I said, it did get. I thought got better when they added Michael Emerson because mm -hmm. uh, he 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 just uh, you know the the performances of Terry O'Quinn and. Mm -hmm. That's always been great, but Matthew, all the acting's been great. But they do such. He does maybe just it's like having that that great player, great quarterback, or something that makes you a better player. Yeah. I think he made he made them better actors. Yeah, oh. and I think the cool thing about adding Ben was we had no visual villain. Like it was we it was mystery villain like the island, right. and, but we didn't have an overarching bad guy. So I think adding that just helped gave everybody somebody to hate, but you somebody you love to hate, right? So and we haven't seen the spoke monster since Echo it's flashback, yeah. right? Right. Uh, I think. Do you see him in question mark? Then. I don't remember. Maybe. I I don't I don't remember. I yeah. just. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll find out when I watch it. I mean, I, <laughs> I forget about the like Mary statues because I started watching a little bit of the question mark and I was like. Oh yeah, did we know that about Charlie? When did we learn that stuff? It was just oh. oh Echo calls him out on that one. Yeah. Yep. That's uh, why he's no longer that's why he's no longer around Claire. Yeah. At this he point. Knows, right. But no, this this is fun. Anything any other thoughts? Great, any great show. 
Um, I will say I, I still defend loss to this day. <laughs> Just so many people that, and it, especially with all and en- things ending, there's a lot of shows ending this season. Right. Um, anybody that brings up like there's a poll, oh, oh worst endings, best endings, and I'm like, Mm-mm. it's like, uh, uh-uh. and then I still see people that did not understand what happened in the end. <laughs> oh, when they sit, when they're dead the whole time. So painful. I'm like, oh no. Right. Mm-hmm. No, they're like they didn't answer anything. I'm like. Actually, they did answer a lot. You just didn't pay attention. <laughs> right. I mean, and it's they, and of course, I, what I love about it, kind of what we talked about in the beginning, is I love that the island is a character. Right. So they didn't oh, have yeah. to answer everything about the island because it's a character and you can always do more with that, mm-hmm. with that place. Yes. So but they, they kind of answered a lot about the people that we watched. Mm-hmm. So it's, that's why it's, it, it's definitely something I feel like they will revisit and tell a new story. In the same location, which would be which would be great. It could be it could be amazing. I it you know it's a question of who the writers are, and you know we'll see. Yeah, because so. I don't think I don't think Damon and Carlton will be part of it. No, they've said before no. they they didn't want to be part of it, or maybe not active at this point. They wouldn't be yeah. active, on it, but they might. You know, maybe yeah. well, executive a long a long timeline you have from Aberturno all the way up. You know, from I mean, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, he could be in it too. And Nestor Carbono could be yeah. in it. You know? That's the thing. If they do, if they go do a different time loop, they could end up anywhere. So and people love that episode. Oh yeah, yeah. People love that episode. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we waited five seasons to see his backstory. Yeah. <laughs> we did. We did. <laughs> and then what was the? Um, no, what was the episode with Jacob and his mom and Man of Black? Oh, across the sea, right? Across, across the, the sea. sea. Yeah. Across the sea. Yeah. 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 And what, most people hate that episode. I liked it. I, I liked at, it too. at the time, it was annoying because you you wanted the answers. And you, I mean, it, it gave you some answers. But at the time, to have a whole episode not about our main characters at that point at the end, it was kind of like, yeah. ah, I wish you would have done this earlier. That's what most people's complaint is. <laughs> but, they wish but, it was earlier. happened earlier. Yeah, but now you can appreciate it. So, and yeah. I know a lot of people. Like I've had a couple groups of friends that never watched it when it was on. And have since binged it and watched the whole thing, and they absolutely adore it, adore the show. Mm-hmm. So I think you know it's definitely one of those shows. You know, if you, if somebody hasn't watched it, it's like watch it. Like try to watch it without anybody you know knowing anything about it because you will absolutely love it. So right, it's like don't listen to everybody going, oh, it's the worst ending. It's like, nah, I think some other ones are winning now. <laughs> so, you if, know. if you if, if you never oh, watch Dex- if, um, if you never <laughs> if if you never watch Dexter, Dexter, in my opinion, wins the worst ending. Yeah, any most TV people show. say that. Yeah, yeah I, never, I didn't watch that. I watched the first season, I think, but I never. It, it's a great show for like the first four or five seasons. Yeah, and then so season four is that where it? Is yeah, that, a lot of people don't like season five. Gets a little sketchy. Yeah. But after that, it's like, okay, I know my wife and I were watching going, okay, I'm just watching this because I'm loyal. <laughs> right. But the fi- the final season was so bad. I mean, it's not just the final episode. It's the final season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This show could have been, I've said this a hundred times, could have been on my top ten shows of all time. Because the, because the final season is so bad. I yeah. I tell people, I go, watch it for the first four seasons and stop. Yeah. Right. yeah. There's, no re- yeah. there's no reason to watch it after that. Does it does it like is it what is does Dexter like need a finale or do they kind of wrap up the main thing before then? Um, did it need to go on or it 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 could have ended differently? Okay, and and should have ended. I don't want to spoil anyone who wants to watch yeah. it, but it should have ended. It should have ended, and I I really thought they were going to go a different direction, which I was okay with. Mm-hmm. And then they completely. I go, all right, what are you doing now? Yeah. So I think it was just. Maybe I was like one of those lost people that got frustrated that things weren't going the how because I think well, biggest problem with loss is people had theories, right? And when the, and when those theories didn't happen, they got mad mm-hmm. and right. said, "Oh, that's what it was. You just you just made it up as you went along and yeah. blah blah blah." Yeah. So whatever. Right. But and I, yeah. I think that I that could be me with they, Dexter. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sure they did make up things. I mean, they obviously had to. That's how shows work. But what's the fun part of watching these shows is making the doing the theories and stuff like yeah. yeah. Like, with um, Watchmen, that was a, I had a ball. Yeah, yeah. I have not watched Watchmen yet. Oh, that's I excellent. guess it's I guess it's one and done, right? Yeah, it's one and done. Well, yeah, that's what they're saying. Damon, yeah, I mean, somebody yeah. else will pick it up, but who knows? Well, yeah. So what I read was they were like, "We're gonna we're, we can just do one." <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> I was like that's shocking. Yeah. I think that's his that's his approach now on things. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it's kind of the didn't doesn't like the BBC do that all the time. They kind of have oh, yeah. to report mm-hmm. things that are done. Yeah. Like they don't kill it. They don't like drive no. it into the ground. And- well, that's how and back in the eighties with the miniseries, that's how it worked. You had a miniseries, it was a yeah. big but and that was it. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm still waiting for Downton Abbey to technically be done, and apparently it's not. <laughs> uh, now there's there's going to be another movie. I oh, think, yeah, I still the movie, the, the movie was good. Yeah, so, I yeah. like. Yeah, I loved that show, but I never I never watched the final episodes because I didn't want it to end. So I just I've been waiting. Well, it's never going to end. I know. Now it'll never. Yeah. End. <laughs> but yeah. Because I was I was shocked the movie was as good as it was. Mm-hmm. That's what people said. Yeah. Yep. But I love, I mean, Maggie, Maggie Smith is in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's fantastic. Right. She oh, is. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Now I want to watch more Lost. Now I got to, wa- I want to like watch the pilot and go from the beginning that, again. That's, that's what happens. You get addicted yeah. to it. Oh, absolutely. It's such a good show. I miss it. <laughs> I miss it. <laughs> it never went away. It's still on TV. It's like I, I love, love Lucy. I, <laughs> I was watching and I was like, oh, I miss seeing Matthew Fox and Terry O'Quinn on my TV every week. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, he kind of like, where did Matthew Fox go? He just retired. He did some movies and yeah. that some was bad it. things, maybe. Some, yeah, he did. Something he, happened, I remember. He, he had something on a bus or something like that. But... Yeah, that's right. And then he just kind of disappeared. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe he's just taking some time off. Yeah. Royalty. Got royalties coming in. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> he'll he's, got par- he's got a party at five, too, right? So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have not watched that new show either. But, yeah. It makes you wonder if he'll ever pop up again. I'm sure he will. He mm-hmm. probably too, too good of an actor not to uh, mm-hmm. do something. I mean, he's, he's a great crier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 he's got. He's going to go down in history as one of the great criers in Hollywood history. Poor so. Jack crying. He he, kn- he knows how to cry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he's believe. I'm seriously. He's believable when he cries. It's not one of those people you're like going. All right, they're putting drops in their eyes or something yeah. like that. But he's. You, I really believe he's wailing up and he's mm-hmm. he's getting all emotional and great actor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was. I mean, he was good on Party Five even. So. Yeah. Yeah. He was good. We are. What was it? We are Marshall was the movie, the football movie. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He was Speed good. Racer. Was in Speed Racer. Yeah. He was Speed Racer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Speed Racer. So was, yeah, he'll be back. Oh, yeah. Speed, Speed Racer was, I think, if it what got made like ten years later, it like just missed its window of mm-hmm. when yeah. people would have appreciated that kind of a movie because right. you know, it was gorgeous and score was nice, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Michael Giacchino. Yeah, but he's he's still relatively young, right? He's got to be fifty something. Yeah. I would think yeah, fifties, yeah. yeah, or yeah, late, late fifties. Yeah. You know. But yeah, yeah. And maybe he's working behind the scenes. I don't, I don't know. He could be. He could be. Now I'm curious. Now I need to go look up Matthew Fox and see what he's been up to. No, I, I'm curious. <laughs> watching this, I was like, what's he? Doing? He was in a western. I thought too. Was it Bone Tomahawk or? Really? Well, he was in like. Wasn't he supposed to be in like Zombie Land? Not Zombie Land. World War Z or something? What was that movie that he got all ripped for? Remember there was a movie where he was all muscles and it was like a terrorist movie or something? Or uh, Oh, I saw that movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see that. Uh, yeah, what was that movie? I don't know. <laughs> I, well, I, remember, I, I remember seeing it, yes. Yeah. Uh, he, was, saw... he was like, he was a bad guy. Right, yeah. Right. Tattoos and like, yeah. Uh-huh. Ah! I saw it because of Matthew Fox. Okay. <laughs> did he cry in it? I don't think so. I'm sure he did. <laughs> I think he has it in his contract. I have to cry. I have to cry. <laughs> I have to cry. Uh, oh. Well, yeah, I guess uh, Dominic Monaghan's coming here, I think, in April. So. Is he? Yeah. Of part of the Hobbit. A lot of the hop- all of four hobbits are doing a con tour. So oh, okay. All yeah. over the country. So, so yeah. And he was in Star Wars, right? So he's yeah, yeah. he's still working. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, that was a bet, right, with JJ? <laughs> Apparently. Oh, oh, was it? Yeah, I guess they bet on a soccer game or something. Oh, is that how he got? Is that, is that how he got on it? I think so. I think. Well, they always talked about it, 
Mm-hmm. And then they, they had a, I think it was some kind of thing. And they go, okay, if, if Manchester wins, you, you can be in it. Yeah. <laughs> and then they did. And then he let him be in the movie. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice bet. Cool. I mean, I guess he was supposed to have a bigger part. I thought maybe deleted scene. We'll, we'll see more of it. But because I guess he was helping Ray translate the Jedi st- scripts or something. He was doing something like that. He didn't do much, yeah. But it wasn't in the movie. But they. Okay. That's what yeah, thought it was in the movie. It wasn't uh, so much a lot. Yeah. 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 Ah, he was in it. Yeah. He was in a Star yeah. Wars movie. He can he can now go to Star Wars conventions for his whole rest of his yes. life. Yes, yeah. he can. So, so Lord of the Rings and Star Wars, two of the biggest mm-hmm. franchises in and he movie was history. In, he was in X Men. That's true. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, he's got he's got a lot covered. Mm-hmm. Wow. He could be a co- he could be a cons for the rest of his life. Exactly. <laughs> he it. He's like sign, sign of those autographs. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. I'll see if I want to, you know, shove out the money to, to meet them. <laughs> I haven't looked up how much it is for a photo with all four of them, but I'm uh, sure it's not cheap, right? Oh yeah, I'm sure that's a lot. I'm sure it's a couple hundred. At least. At least. But I've met two of them already, so we'll see. <laughs> Both were lovely, so. But yeah, you should come come for that, Bill. You should come down. I was gonna. I looked into it, but it's uh, the end of spring break, so air fares are out of control. Oh yeah. That weekend, yeah, it's following Easter. Yeah. yeah. It used to you be could, in. You, May. Could, you could drive down. I gotta be in, back in the office by Monday. That's <laughs> true. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Well, it used to be in Boston. Uh, yeah. I might drive up to Boston. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Park your car. That's not, <laughs> that's not <park>. That was <laughs> a good commercial. This is a ghost car. This is a ghost car. <laughs> that's Big Poppy. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know we lived here? No, I didn't. No. <laughs> yeah, that's a good commercial. It is a good. That was one of my favorites. That and uh, Groundhog Day. You just yeah, Bill Murray. Yeah, right. Groundhog that was excellent. Yeah, you can't go wrong with Bill Murray. No, no. no. And he, he got his brother in there. I love yeah. that the other cast were in there. Ed Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Ed Ryan. He, he looked into it too. He looked into it, Bill Murray, which I was happy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, he turns it on like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he is in the new Ghostbusters apparently. So yeah. we'll see at what capacity, but cool. Time will tell. Good All right, guys. Day. Had a lot of fun. Yeah, that's good, awesome. Good episode. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Awesome. I don't know. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Or there on here. Whatever whatever it is. <laughs> Via the net. All, all on the East Coast, though, so that's good. Nice. And this will be out this will be out tomorrow morning. All right, cool. Excellent. Well, good seeing you all again. Yeah, good to see you, Well, Good to see you, Jack. Yeah. Nice seeing you. Nice t- actually talking to you for the first time ever. Right? Me? Yeah, have I ever talked? Have we ever met? Me, I've talked to you at Comic Con before. At the bowling place. Oh, yes. yeah. Yeah. I do remember that now. Yes, yes. I do. I do recall it's that now. It's been a so. long time, but yeah. yes. <laughs> and I don't think I met. I don't think I talked to you at the Orpheum. You were probably running around. <laughs> I was running around a lot at the Orpheum. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Which I didn't realize for a long time that Bill was there too. I wasn't there. You weren't? No. Yeah, you told me you were there. I would love to. No. Okay. No. That's been somebody else then that I talk to regularly, and I'm like, wait, you were there? <laughs> They're like, yeah. Yeah, okay. no. Yeah. yeah, they oh, had me just. Anne. Do you know Anne? Oh, yeah, I know Anne. Okay, she was there. That must be right. Okay. Yeah, she was there, yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. That must have been. Okay. So, yeah. Crazy, cool. crazy. Crazy yeah. Lost World. Yeah. Glad I'm a part of it. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm glad I went through Lost when it was on. Because, yeah, there was nothing like that back mm-hmm. then. Yeah, greatest community. And it was so fun. You can argue about the show being the greatest of all time, but the community is the best. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And it lives on, too. It still lives on. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Although I wish we had the gifts back then. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we did that back then because there would have been so many of them. So yeah. well, they're they're out there now. They are now, but it's not in you know constant rotation. I, I know, I know. <laughs> they're hard to find. They're harder to find. <laughs> yeah. 
I live in that world now. Everything's a <laughs> moving graphic every time I send somebody something. <laughs> You're one of those people. I am one of those people. Uh, <laughs> my my daughters, my oldest daughters, that way. It's like every yeah. I say. Always answering mean. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's like okay, yeah, yeah whatever. <laughs> I mean, I taught my dad how to do it, but he kind of uses the same four all the time. <laughs> you got to use what you're comfortable with. Right. Well, he only knows how to like when you're doing a text, he'll search, you know, and then whatever comes up, like within the first maybe like four or five, that's what he always uses. So he uses the same ones all the time. <laughs> I kind of, I'm kind of guilty of that. It's like, yeah. I don't want to scroll down a hundred of these right. things to right. find what I want. Right. He's like Snoopy dancing. That works. Mm. Go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good with that. So. Yeah, he's good with that. <laughs> All righty. Uh, All right, right, guys. Good see job. You. Nice right. talking to you. All right. See you again. Talk to you. Have All a right. good night. Good night. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye.